So good morning everyone. My name is Uldis. I work at the Magnetic and I will be giving a wireless presentation today. Wireless workshop. Ever, everyone hears me okay? Okay. So here are the topics that we will cover today. So first topic is point-to-point -point and point-to-multiple -point, point connection, wireless transparent links, throughput discussion, connection problems, few different set of discussion, and useful configuration settings and features that would be interesting for you. Okay. So let's start slowly with some basic features, maybe some of you already know, but every year a lot of new customers and uh, users join our community. And so let's start with some basic stuff, so and then go into more advanced stuff. So first, let's talk about uh, connection types. Wireless connection types, we have point-to-point -point links, for example, two antennas on the, one antenna on one tower, another then uh, you know, different tower in another town, for example, make a wireless link of 10 kilometer. For example, here, two S16 devices. And the other connection type is point to multipoint, like an AT, where you connect to your central AT, multiple clients, some client premises. For example, here is a omnipit, and you connect to multiple S16 devices. As you can see, usually, APs, on point to multipoint links have less range because of the antenna. For example, here we have five kilometer link, just like an example. So, how to make such link? There are different uh, modes in uh, our router, as, as you can see. For example, one method would be AP bridge or bridge, and the other end you can choose station. One option. Second option is AP bridge, station WTS, station bridge. Okay. AP bridge, station pseudo bridge, another setting. Then we have AP bridge between AP bridge. And the last is AP bridge between WTS play. So we have a lot of different types of uh, how to make this connection. But the question is what is different? When to choose? case. So now we'll discuss about this. So few clients are, have reported that uh, they reported that we have a 16 device for example here. So product uh, and the clients are asking how to make point to point connection with this. Is it possible to make connect point to point connection with uh, S16 device that it only has level 3 license? The answer is yes, you can make it. The best is, is example is by using bridge on the one end and station on the other end. To make an AP, you require at least level 4 license. So you cannot make S16 and S AP, but you can connect point to point link. There are multiple wireless standards and protocols. So, Rotorus point to point and point to multipoint supports APGM regular standards that already everybody knows. And we have also wireless protocol like Nstream and MV2 protocols that are more proprietary protocols. So, how does it look like regular point to point setup? For example, here we have some kit, like a quick start for your quick wireless ISP device kit. Put Omnitic on your tower, and you have already five clients that you can connect to your AP. So you already have, you are an ISP, very easy. Then we can go into more advanced setup. You want to expand your wireless ISP. Now you buy such multiple packs. You can interconnect 
those common ticks between themselves. And you can connect one end to it, and all of them have a very good network. Everyone shares this network. Okay, but how to configure them all? What protocol and what routing or bridging we should choose? So first type is routing. So the client wants to get to the internet. So how can we make this? We have an internet connection. We have our AP. And we have two clients, client location, two houses in our neighborhood that want to have internet. So, one option is routing. We put an AP, an IP address on the, or AP, for example, 10.0.0.1. On the S6 devices, we put 10.0.0.2, and here 3. We have 